All right, what's going on everyone? It's PRTTRP and today I've got some Daisy standalone actually. It's been a while since I did one of these updates, but since it's E3 now, they're showing off one of these standalone builds. Now this video comes from VG247. They did an interview with Matt Lightfoot, this guy. And he's a production assistant for the standalone. Now they did an 11 minute interview while he was playing the game and they showed off and talked about a lot of things. I'm gonna cut it down a bit, I'm gonna analyze it and uh, if you wanna see the full thing the link is gonna be in the description. But yeah, I hope you enjoy. So zombies can perform jump attacks now. The inventory system has been reworked obviously. To your left you can see your vicinity, these are all the objects that are in your vicinity which you can pick up. The entire thing works by drag and drop by the way. In the middle you can see your player. So you can see your player character as well as the items you are wearing currently on your person. To your right you can see your inventory, these are all the things you have on your body which can hold items. So now you can see the t-shirt and the jeans, a bit later he picks up an Alice pack which holds a lot more spaces. Kind of works the same as in Arma 3. Now at the bottom you can see the hotbar. This is a 10 slot hotbar which you can drop items in to quickly use them. They work with your number keys. Of course you can't use your number keys in Arma 2, but you can now in the standalone which is great. You can now jump over objects instead of having to vault. Kind of like the i44 bunny up but a bit more fluid. Which is great, no more awkward vaulting over objects. You can just jump straight over them while running. Instead of having one big map, there are individual maps of sections of the Chernaris map. You can combine these individual maps to create a bigger map. Which is kind of a bit more realistic. In this demo they uh, combine the northeast Trinaris map with the northwest Trinaris map. Now he shows off the northwestern section of the Trinaris map briefly. You can see that there's a lot more roads there, especially up north from the northwest airfield. You can see a lot more road work. Which shows again that they're really expanding the Trinaris plus map. Zombies can actually run inside now instead of just walking, which means that they are a lot more dangerous. You can now shoot from the hip while running, which will result in a severe accuracy penalty. But you can do it, which should make CQB combat a lot more fluid, as well as giving you the ability to shoot zombies while you're running away from them, which is great. Set of spawning impels on the floor of food actually spawns organically. Throughout the demo you can see this, especially in the back of the supermarket, you can see that the food spawns on the shelves instead of on the floor, which is a lot more realistic. In this particular build they only had the AK-74s to show, but they briefly talked about weapons. Now as mentioned previously, it's gonna be a lot more about civilian-esque weapons instead of high-end military ones. So some examples of new weapons that are going to be in the standalone is the SKS, the Ruger 1022 and the CZ pistols. Now by this I think he means the CZ 75 pistol. With civilian weapons you can just expect a lot more rifles, not the carbines and assault rifles you may be used to. This should also make the game a bit more difficult, although I do think that the high-end military weapons are still going to be available, they're just going to be very scarce. Something which you really have to look for. Anyways, this was pretty much everything that I found interesting about the interview. If you want to see the full thing, go click the link in the description. Anyways, hope you enjoy, and there's probably going to be more E3 footage of the standalone, which I will try to cover, so if you want to stay updated, be sure to subscribe if you have not. Anyways, have a good day.